Hong Kyung Pyo is one of Korea's most recognized cinematographers, lensing a number of hallmark Korean films over the past 20 years. The range of Hong's work is truly impressive, from horror, thriller, and war films, to mockumentaries, romances, and comedies. <laughs> Now, Hong adds action to the list with Deliver Us From Evil, playing at Korean Film Festival in Australia 2021. Despite working across vastly different genres and collaborators, Hong's mark is clearly imprinted across all of his films. We dive into how three aspects of Hong's signature style, colour, silhouette, and movement, give greater dimension to the stories, characters, and mood of some of his most prolific work. At its most basic level, colour and lighting can be used to set the mood of a scene. But Hong takes this further by using colour and lighting in service of narrative. Snowpiercer, for example, makes use of colour to support the film's themes on classism. Here we see the drab, monotonous colours of the lower class's tail end of the train highlight despair. But further up the train, high society revels in privilege with a sensory overload of colour. Then there's his use of colour in The Wailing, particularly during its climactic final scenes, which cut back and forth between two locations, one in the caves with the stranger, and the other outdoors with the woman in white. During this tense moment in the film, Officer Jong Gu, who by this point of the film no longer knows who to believe, is given two choices by the woman in white, one that will save his family, and the other that will destroy them. It's here where Hong's use of colour and lighting shine, as both scenes are at odds with each other. The stranger, visible through the glow of the red flames, is contrasted by the woman in white, hidden in darkness within the blue moonlight. Unlike the battle between shamans earlier in the film, which is similarly coloured, thus hinting at their alliance, this is the film's true supernatural contest, and Hong makes full use of colour to illustrate this. <laughs> Hong excels in symbolism when it comes to darkness as well, with his use of silhouettes also digging deeper than just aesthetics. In Li Changdong's thriller Burning, silhouettes appear at critical moments and help lift the fog just a little on the film's mysterious characters. In particular, Hong uses silhouettes to highlight important metaphors around Burning's characters. And just like the film's namesake, fire is used to symbolise rage and violence. In one of the film's most striking shots during a dream sequence, Hong establishes a connection between Jong Su's past and the future potential for him to turn to violence. A similar approach is used during Haimi's Great Hunger dance scene. In using natural light to contrast Haimi's dancing figure against the sunset, director Lee says this interaction between light and shadow perfectly captures her search for meaning and freedom amidst the lies and natural beauty of the world. Meanwhile, in Bong Joon-ho's mother, Hong uses silhouette as a symbol itself. In the final shot, the mother's shadowy outline is coupled with a noticeably shaky, unpredictable camera and warm sunlight. It's a big departure from the film's earlier meticulous framing and dour blues and greys during its most chilling moments. This aesthetic transformation and use of silhouette reflects the mother's casting off of the past while still acknowledging the dark shadow of her actions. Cinematography isn't just limited to lighting, shadows, and colour, nor is it about framing one perfect shot either. Dynamic camera movement is another important part of Hong's toolset. 
Depending on the scene that he's filming, he'll use camera movement in such a way that'll match the rhythm of the scene. Parasite has a number of scenes that maximise camera movement in service of the narrative. One of the most kinetic scenes in the film, when the Kim family tries to tidy up before the parks return home, clearly demonstrate how a combination of whip pans, dolly shots, and stabilised camera shots can work together with editing to create an added sense of urgency. This example of course is on the extreme spectrum of camera movement. For a more subdued look at how Hong uses camera movement to maximise a scene, check out this scene from Kim Ji Woon's comedy The Foul King. Hong doesn't need anything too flashy to match the rhythm of the scene. All things considered, this is a pretty banal moment for the characters of the film. They're just rehearsing for a wrestling match. But the scene is captured in such a way that services the performances of all its characters, whether through dialogue or physical humour. <laughs> Examples like these show just how considered Hong's use of cinematography is. With his ability to cater to and enhance the needs of a scene and bolster performances, it's no wonder many of his films, including Kofi's Deliver Us From Evil, have earned Hong major awards. Film, after all, is the moving image. And if a picture can tell a thousand words, how many more might Hong be trying to tell as a cinematographer?